Noodles are better than naked human bodies. Hey guys, it's another session of Zen Nudes. Today, I'm making my cold sesame noodles. I'm using wolfberry noodles. They're supposed to be very good for you because wolfberries are a traditional Chinese medicinal ingredient. I've blanched them and I've chilled them. And now I'm gonna do a cold Japanese-inspired sesame sauce and a little bit of a salad. One ingredient I've already prepared is the roast eggplant. So this I just cut into half lengthwise. I drizzled it with olive oil, a bit of salt, and then I roasted it at a 200 degree oven until it was really nice and soft and it's golden brown on the outside. But the first thing I'm gonna do right now is make the tahini sesame sauce. First, two tablespoons of lovely tahini, then some soya sauce for flavor, mirin for sweetness, and rice vinegar for that slight sharp bite. Some raw garlic grated straight in gives this sauce that delicious heat and grated ginger gives it warmth. A little brown white pepper and then finally some water to loosen the sauce. Just stir it until it's nice and combined. And I'm gonna pour this right into the bottom of a bowl. And now I'm gonna prep the salad bit. So I've got cucumber, tomato, and the roast eggplant. I've already blanched these noodles, so they're cooked. Then I rinsed them in cold water and I kind of put a bit of sesame oil in there so they wouldn't stick. And these go right on top of the sesame sauce. Then I top it with the cucumber, the tomatoes, and the roast eggplant. A beautifully cooked egg some chopped spring onions, and finally, some black and white sesame seeds. It's almost a shame to kind of mess this up, but I have to taste this because I wanna see what these wolfberry noodles are like, especially with my cold sesame sauce. So here goes. The thing about this dish is it's familiar and it's new at the same time because cold sesame sauce noodles are something that appears a lot in Japanese food but because we use tahini in this, it's really nice and smoky and then you have the garlic and the cucumber, tomato, roast eggplant. It's kind of reminding you of an amazing dish of hummus and Israeli salad or something like that. And every bite you take, you feel like the flavors are exploding inside your mouth. So this turned out to be an experiment that's gone very, very right. 